hoping that nobody misses a moral in shows short as this is. No script for the scholars, we're just having fun. If you didn't like it, it's this close to done. Tonight you've heard songs of envy and rage And songs to tell the strife that comes with life on the stage Some songs that were lewd and others that stung A song about excess sung by someone with no tongue <laughs> This song... Uh, yeah. What attracted you to this piece? Well, actually, I, I've been working with uh, the two writers, Luke and Michael, uh, for a while on a few other pieces, all of which are quite large scale. Mm. And I said to them, they may take a little while to get on. What would happen if you wrote something smaller that we could put on sooner? <laughs> okay, if it's going to be small, let's think about something big thematically to write it about. So what's bigger than the devil? <laughs> and, and went looking for source material that maybe would coincide with that and came across an out of copyright novel that was a million bestseller in the, in the 19th century. That's fascinating. And I think what's been interesting to them and been interesting to me is defining what a musical is and whether or not the idea of a musical is a good thing or a or a constraint a constraint exactly yeah. because people think they know exactly what a musical is yeah. and they think uh, it's going to be a certain thing and in a way new musical theatre I think is slightly playing against that at the moment yeah. and trying to figure out where it exists the songs I wrote were fabulous but Jeffrey's more fabulous it's very slightly fabulous. fabulous it's true not into nubulous I got what I deserve from writing songs that couldn't grab you less tonight was all about sin right um, so it's a, it's a Faustian tale but set in between the wars of when the the landscape of musical theatre was changing so we were moving from musical to musical comedy musical review into the book musical of Showboat a few years mm. later mm. so um, that's what we're discussing in this piece. Adaptation, is that difficult? It is. In some ways it's easier because you have a roadmap before right. you begin work, so everybody knows where we're going. Until you want to change the roadmap. Exactly, <laughs> but you've got something that everybody, everybody yes. can reference uh, early on in the piece. Mm. Uh, but this is a very loose adaptation, so we say it's inspired by Marie Corelli's novel, because I'm not sure she would enjoy this. No? No, no, she was quite, um, she was quite against the, the modern woman of the 1890s and, and the liberation that was uh, beginning there, so um, uh, she's not noted for a sense of humor. So, <laughs> and tonight you've seen scenes of deals and deceit, and scenes of art and commerce and the hell where they meet. Some scenes about the sun and scenes where they sleep. With scenes like what you've seen, I mean, we should have charged more. This is a piece about someone who, who um, thinks they're writing a piece that's art and gets told by a benefactor that it's not commercial enough and it needs to have more hummable tunes. <laughs> and the benefactor, in the guise of the devil, forces hummable tunes on him. So it very much is that argument right. transposed inside uh, this adaptation. And the other really clever thing about it, I suppose, is it, it's set in 1924 just as musicals were about to exist. Yeah. So it's called a musical play because it's still a point where that definition of what a musical is hasn't crystallised yet, as it was about to I with Showboat. It. So it, it's hopefully doing a lot of really clever things. Luke and Michael are extremely clever, but also it's really funny and really accessible. Uh, a show to show the piety won't get you notoriety. A show to show propriety is not with the high society. A show to show anxiety. A show to show variety. A show of contrariety performed without sobriety. A show to show the shows that need to show too much variety. A show if you want to have a good night out, it does that. If you want to think really hard, it does that. And, that too. and if you want to have an argument about definitions in musical theatre, I'll be in the bar. <laughs> <laughs>